quarantine glow up. I'm so sorry that I've been gone for literally, I think, almost two months. That is absolutely tragic. I'm so sorry to leave you like that. I'm giving you very absentee father, absentee mother, absentee parent, and I would hate to do that. So I will actually be consistent. I say that every time, don't I? That's mental illness. This is the lowest. This is where we're starting from. This is the before. So the after is really going to give you very new body by Nicki Minaj. I literally am drenched in rain. I went running in the rain, just came back, and had my hoodie pulled up like this so I wouldn't get my headphones wet or my hair wet. And my hair's just pushed all the way back and it's looking a mess. So we're going to take care of that. So sorry that you had to see me like this, but on this channel we like to show truth, we like to show realism, we like to show, you know, authenticity. So I'm giving you very before, but wait for the after, queen. <laughs> wait for the after. But. The first step of this quarantine glow up is going to be to take a shower, of course, and fix my hair. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be back. All right, so I'm back from my shower and I did my hair. I used this conditioning detangler from Camp 2. Um, I guess this is for the kids, the kids one, because whenever I went shopping for this, this is the only one they had. They did not have the adult one, can't tell you why. And then I also put in my Aussie hair insurance leave-in conditioner as well. I did not film me doing that because I've done my hair on this channel too many times and I wanted to save you guys the torture of watching me do it again because there's nothing much to see. Now the second step in my quarantine routine that we will be doing together is shaving. Now I have not shaved my legs since I can't even tell you. I don't even remember. But there's no reason for me to shave my legs, right? Because shaving them for who? Shaving them for where? Shaving them for what? We're in quarantine, right? But I want to shave my legs nonetheless because it makes me feel more productive and it makes me feel better, if that makes sense. Let me know if I'm not the only one, if you can relate to below. So I will be using this 100% gel aloe vera fruit of the earth brand to shave my legs with this Joy razor. This is the best razor that I have used in my life. But before we get into the shaving section of this, I'm going to go ahead and take a break if you don't mind because I'm starving. I'm going to go make myself a sandwich and we'll be back. We'll resume. Okay, so now it's time to shave my legs. It is probably like a good two hours later. I started this at like 11-ish p.m. It's now 2. So a good two and a half hours later, here we are. Um, I can't really tell you why that is that happened. I had my little, uh, you know, a little dinner at 11 p.m. as I should. We're in quarantine, mind your business. And I just had a little too much fun on the interwebs. TikTok was really calling my name, really consuming me. And I was watching a YouTube video all at the same time and trying to answer some messages. So <laughs> my multitasking is really just on 10. We're just gonna go ahead and lather my leg in this aloe vera gel. I like to shave with aloe vera gel and not regular shaving gel because it just works for me. Let's talk about some tea. Let's talk about how y'all's quarantine has been. Let me know because my quarantine, days are really just running into each other. I literally am stuck permanently on like April 6th. I just keep thinking it's April 6th every day and it's literally just not. It's literally like May 12th at this point, babe, like get over it. But it's just really kind of upsetting sometimes, like time ticking and passing so fast where you don't get to process things. And the fact that I'm literally going to be 20 next month is literally so scary and crazy that I can't even process it. And I literally had that thought for the first time the other day and I was like, wait a minute, like I'm not going to be like a fun, fresh, quirky, relatable tea anymore. Like, what am I going to do? Like, my entire personality is literally based on me being 19 years old. You know what I mean? Me being a teen. So I'm really going to have to... I've been, like, adulting. And adulting is hard, by the way. But I'm really going to have to start adulting 
when I turn 20 next month. There's like no excuse, queen. It's like, you're 20. Now that I'm thinking about it, hopefully I'm not under, hopefully, hopefully we're not in quarantine during my birthday. It's June 26th. I hope we're not still in quarantine. If we are, I'm going to be very, 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 very sad because 20 is a big year, baby. I want my first year of actual adulthood. I start entering my 20s to, to start with a banger. I don't want it to be stuck in quarantine. So I just finished shaving my legs. I may or may not insert a clip of my legs being shaved. Um, I don't know if that's weird or not. I don't know. Anyways, on to step three. We're going to do my nails. We're going to paint my nails. I have cut them in preparation for this video. I hope you appreciate it. It's just for you, loves. I'm going to be using this Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear Nail Color. It's in the color Bare It All, and it's a absolutely disgusting color. It literally used the color of my cuticles. Why am I going to be using it, you say? Um, because I have no other nail polish to use. This is the only part of the glow up that's going to be kind of questionable. You're going to be like, sweetie, they were probably better before. And you'd be right. And honestly, truly, you'd be so right, it would, I wouldn't even be hurt. I'd be like, you got it. Yeah, get into it. Because what was I thinking by buying this color? I literally thought it was going to be a nude. It was either between this color and a white, and I just had to go with this color. My gut was saying white, but for some reason I picked this color. I'm literally looking at it, and it literally looks like the color of my cuticles. You can see that, huh? You're like, what color, sweetie? I know. Back into talking about quarantine. My quarantine, I have no bedtime schedule, sadly. I've been off the rails, and I wish that was just a quarantine thing, but that's literally been for months, like ever since I graduated high school, like the summer I graduated high school, I've just been off the rails, going to bed whenever, and waking up at whatever time I wanted to wake up at. And it's just very scary and very crazy. It's like, sweetie, like you have stuff to do, like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, do better, honey. And of course, there have been multiple times where I've had to like fight that, and like actually were like important things I'd have to get up and whatnot. So it's not like me like go ruining my life or not. Don't worry. Don't feel scared for me. Like, do you need help, sweetie? Like, why can't? No. But it's just like when I don't have anything pressing to do, I will sleep in late. I will stay up late. And uh, I promised myself in 2020 that I would fix that quickly. But January came and went. Then February came and went. And then March came and went. And quarantine started. And it only heightened my irrational bedtime. This is the first coat. This is how it's looking. I don't have that like gel thing to like keep it together and intact. So when it comes off during the week, it will just come off as it should. I just need to stay on for a long period of time, but I will be back when this dries. Okay, so I let the first coat dry and then put on the second coat and then it dried too. And this is how it looks. Tell me, is it the best nail job that you've ever seen. Tell me, did I just give you better than your nail tech? Like, your nail tech could never. Like, look at the material. Ugh. Wow. No, I'm joking. This looks actually awful. And but what are you gonna do? We're just gonna have to wear it until it washes off. So, that's just the tea. Yeah, yeah. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to put on these Crest whitening strips because why not? My teeth need an extra boost during this quarantine time, even though nobody can see my beautiful smile. We still got to keep them looking pearly white, you know what I mean? We're going to use these strips and then we're going to brush my teeth and then I'm going to come back to you and I will be showing you the results. But on um, like so, what I hate about them is that they get stuck up in your gums. If you had like, um, what do they call it? Dental guards or retainers, baby retainers. If you had a retainer, you would not be like having as much problems as I'm gonna have with this. So I just took out the whitening strips and brushed my teeth and this is how they look. Let me know if you can see a difference. Um, it's not instant, so there's probably no difference, but you know, in our heads we can pretend there is. So we're back and we're on to day two, different day, same outfit for consistency. Also, quarantine vibes, babe. <laughs> whoa, 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 yeah. 
So for skincare, we're going to start off by using this Naturally Wow 3-in-1 Prep Cleanser. I've talked about the Naturally Wow products that I've used before on my Instagram um, like a month ago, I believe. So if you want to find out more information about those, you can go ahead and check my Instagram. This is the Sloan Buff and this is the Moisturizer. But today... We are going to start off using the Naturally Wow Cleanser. So I just finished washing my face and then pat drying it with the towel and all of that was prepped to use this Dead Sea Mud Mask from Youth. I was sent this by them so kindly like a month ago to try and see if I really liked it to talk about it to all of you guys and I ended up really loving this product. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on and leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes as it says, but this is what it looks like. And, and for best results, you're supposed to use it three times a week and that's what I've been doing for the month of April into this month. You just put it on like so. You just apply it with your fingers like I've been doing and this is how it looks in the inside. I barely made a dent in it and I literally had it for over a month now. So that just shows you how much product it is and how much you are getting for the price. It's such good quality and I honestly love it and doesn't feel like heavy on your face and, and it doesn't burn or itch or anything. It's really an easy face mask to use. It doesn't take long at all. You just apply it and you kind of forget that it's on your face until it dries. Of course, you feel every face mask when it hardens. So I'm gonna finish applying this and I will see you guys back after 15 to 20 minutes and I'll talk more about it. So it's 20 minutes later and I'm back and this is how the face mask dried. It starts off being gray as you saw before, but then it kind of dries like greenish gray. Now that you've seen me use the product, I'm going to talk about what this product promises to do. It detoxifies skin, drawing out impurities and excess oils. It minimizes pore size and helps your overall complexion. And it's made with natural ingredients. Now with all that being said, I've definitely experienced a reduction of pimples and blackheads and any acne that I have had, it fights it pretty quick. Um, because sometimes I go on and off of using like my skincare routine and my skin is kind of funny in the way that if I don't wash it and um, moisturize it for a day or two, she wants to be like, oh, you want to do that? Acne. And this does a great job of helping reduce blemishes and um, clear up my acne pretty fast. For example, I literally have a zit right here that popped up out of the blue two days ago. I don't know why. Sometimes I get stress acne, but it has already reduced the size dramatically because it was literally much bigger. By the way, I have combination skin and this is my go-to mask right now. And I'm pretty sure it'll work for all skin types, but of course I can only attest for what it did for me. So if you are interested in this product, I'm going to go ahead and link it below the first link in the bio and you can check it out if you want. But moving on to finish up our skincare routine, we are going to go ahead and put on the Naturally Wow Moisturizer. Alright queens and kings, let's get into doing my makeup. Also, I did my hair again because we're going to have the final transformation after this, so I might as well, you know, look the part, give you glow up tees. Um, I just did it the same with the leave-in conditioner that I used. But anyways, we're going to get into the tea. I'm just going to be doing like my everyday makeup routine. Like whenever I wear makeup, this is the look because I am untalented in makeup and I really can't do anything else. I have got a couple new products since the last time I did my makeup on this channel. So anyways, of course, we're going to start with this foundation. We're going to start with the CoverGirl Skin Milk Foundation and Clean Fresh. Also, I'm going to try to like time lapse this. So I'm going to be like talking here and there. But for the most part, you're just going to see me go ahead and put it on because I don't really have all that much to say. I think we really got into all of the good tea. So I just put my foundation on and this is how it looks. I just did like one layer, just really light because obviously we're going to take it off after this. And also this is just a light coverage foundation. It's like skin milk is what they call it. But it gives you a little bit of coverage, like my blemishes are slightly reduced. But it feels like your skin but better, gives you very like glossier feel is what I would compare it to. Now I'm going to put on concealer. As you can see, uh, my concealer is like two shades too light for me because I thought that's what you were supposed to do but um, I think it's too too light like to the fact to the point like it doesn't even do anything maybe I should have got an exact skin match I don't know I thought you were supposed to get a lighter concealer but maybe I'm wrong maybe people lied to me Uh, 
up, we are going to do my powder. I'm going to use this Broken Clinique powder because, I mean, what else am I going to do? This is what I'm left with. This is what my sister wanted me to do. I'm going to wet this dirty beauty blender. Yeah. Oh. enough of this Clinique matte oh that's what it's called it's called stay matte sheer pressed powder oil free I was wondering what it was that's that now we're gonna use this all over glow bronzer I think that's the name of the brand because I literally don't see oh Milani cosmetics it's by Milani I literally don't know like I've been using this for a while and I literally don't know so that's kind of upsetting I'm gonna use the darker shade first and then the lighter shade Guys, literally, when I was just talking to you, my camera just said goodbye. It literally said, we're going to head out, um, which was really scary. And it said that I had to, like, reinsert it and something was wrong with it. I don't even know, but luckily, I figured it out. We love a uh, thinking queen. Like I said, I'm literally just going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer that I use for under my eyes and my problem areas to act as a eyeshadow primer because we have no other eyeshadow primer queen. We're going to use this The Nudes Maybelline palette. Can you see, can you see, can you see it? Give you very beauty guru tease. Guys, my camera's literally blinking right now. I don't know what happened. It literally was kind of charged before, but now it's like, we're gonna take a vacation. So I guess I'm gonna finish this eye look and hopefully I'll be able to do the rest of my makeup with you. If not, like, you're just going to see the finished product when it's done. I'm but I literally wiped off the look I was doing before and did a completely new look. So let me tell you what colors I used. I was just like, why am I giving you very smoky eye tees when I'm trying to make this, like, a spring look? Even though I barely have any pastels, I tried to use this color. Emphasis on try, because, like I said, this palette's probably not for my skin tone. But I tried to use this color, this color... And I even used, like, the highlight kit, like, the Jolly, and, oh, can it hold up? I even used, like, the Jolly and the Tempting from this highlighter kit, and this color on the end. Right here, and then I tried to use this one, but it literally didn't even show up. It looked like ash, so that was fun and fresh, but... Now we're going to go on to, but now we're going to do mascara because my eyelashes are really dead. Like you can't see them because they're covered in eyeshadow and concealer. Like that's a mess. Okay, so I just put on the mascara and this is how it looks. I tried to put it on my lower lashes, but it literally just wasn't happening. So I was just like, let's not keep doing things you're not good at. Okay, and that's how the lip gloss look and this is the full makeup look and I'm gonna go get dressed and we're gonna finish the transformation shall we so this is the final transformation so we finally made it to the end it has been a long hard journey it's literally 5 a.m. right now and I need to go to bed I guess I'm continuing the theme of filming at night just literally gives me like the epitome of spring like pastels are everything like this mint green pastel is everything queen the glasses are from movement this dress is from target and this louis vuitton bag is from louis vuitton and these shoes are from fila's and i'm sure you recognize this look from my last video i just wanted to bring it back because this is just the ultimate spring look but don't worry i've got a second look for you guys just because I love you so much. I want to give you an extra, a bonus. Here he goes. Okay, so this is the second look. In my opinion, this gives you very, like, ultimate cool girl, ultimate cool mom going to pick up her daughter from um, school, going to go pick up her daughter from her friend's birthday party. Um, I decided to do two looks because, like, what's more spring than pastels, which was that pastel green dress, and, like, florals. Like, who can go wrong with yellow for spring? Like, come on, and white? But I got this dress, like, forever ago from Old Navy, and then I got this cardigan from Target, like, a couple months ago. And then I've had this bag for 
forever. I don't even remember where I got it. And then lastly, these earrings are from Target and these shoes are from Ross. So that is the outfit, that is the look, and we are done, actually. This is the end of the video. I don't want it to end, I don't want it to end, but unfortunately I gotta go. I gotta go take this all off, because it is way too late. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Uh, be sure to comment below your favorite part of this transformation, or what you've been doing during quarantine, really anything you want. And be sure to subscribe down below for more content so you don't miss out because it's always a good time over here. And also don't forget to click the like button if you enjoyed this video. And lastly, turn on the bell icon, the notification, so you never miss out on a new upload. And I'm going to get off, guys. Stay safe, stay positive, and we're going to get through this quarantine together. Later!